Super spy James Bond has faced and conquered countless villains, but nothing prepared him for the evil of COVID-19. The pandemic derailed the release of the 25th movie in the franchise No Time to Die by almost two years. Now it's finally about to hit Australian screens and the hero is facing his toughest battle. Bond has to revive an ailing film industry by getting audiences back into cinemas. But there's also another problem for the movie's producers. Daniel Craig says this is the last time he'll be calling himself 007. Thankfully, finding the new Bond won't be Mission Impossible, but it will be challenging. The flashy car might be a rental. So too, the fancy tux. But the Big Apple is real, and so is the hype around the new James Bond. Craig is out. Carl is in. That's the word on the mean streets of New York. Bond. James Bond. I don't want this to be awkward or uncomfortable, but... Where are we going with this? The girls, the, your, your fellow actors have said that I'm the next one. All right. Mm. Now, what would you say to the next person to do it? Don't be shit. <laughs> you can say that now, you've done it. <laughs> It's the no-nonsense response we've come to expect and love from the man who many believe is the best Bond of all. No Time to Die is the final outing for Daniel Craig as 007, who way back in 2005 reluctantly agreed to take on the biggest role of his career and has been reluctantly playing him ever since. I did one, I did Casino Royale. I was quite convinced that it was going to be one movie, that I'd go swing and a miss. There you go, thanks wow. very much, I'll move on. I think you unfairly had this perception, oh, he's so grumpy, mm. that Daniel Craig and, and this James Bond. Oh, but I am, yeah. Are you the grumpiest man alive? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're happy. It kicked off pretty badly because I had it led this whole thing with the press kind of attacking me. And mm. I think I retreated. Yeah. And I think the kind of natural thing is that people wanted me to come out and go, oh, come on, smile. You've And I was like, I don't, it's not, it's not me. It's just not me. So I just need to be myself. I'm a, a, a very giggly, stupid person most of the time. <laughs> Rolex. Amigo. Beautiful. Far from giggling, Craig's bond is gritty and brooding. But he's a marshmallow on the inside. So as charming as you are, Mr. Bond, I will be keeping my eye on our government's money and off your perfectly formed hearts. You noticed. There's been many memorable moments along the way. But it was this steamy scene none of us will forget. He came out of that water, I was like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made it hard for all us men. This interview's getting a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I didn't want to do what's not been done before. It was done brilliantly. Yeah. I can't do that. So if you want me to do it, I'm going to do it the way I do it. I just said to them, look, I don't do impressions. And I'm a big Bond fan. I mean, mm. I've been watching them probably like you since I was a kid. You can't do Sean Connery? Uh, nope, can't do it. I can. Can you? Come on, let's hear it. Wow, what a lovely party. OK, let's move on. Pretty, um, <laughs> pretty I wasn't invited. No, you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> License to kill. Jokes aside, the 25th film in the Bond series has been a while coming. So you're not dead. Hello, Q, I've missed you. After two long COVID years... You're the only one I trust for this. Bond is coming to Australian screens in November. And it's not just the world he's saving, it's cinema too. Producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson are the longtime custodians of the hugely successful Bond franchise. Magnificent view. My friends call me Jinx. My friends call me James Bond. You have a nasty habit of surviving. Well, you know what they say about the fittest? Past. That's all there is to it. Present and future Bonds are all in Barbara and Michael's powerful hands.
Is it with a heavy heart we say goodbye to Daniel Craig? Oh, boy, yeah. It certainly is. I'm in denial. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm in denial. Yeah, he's been a great bond. We've been working together for 14 years. He's an amazing collaborator. He's a magnificent actor. He's a great guy. And he's the right Bond for the 21st century. And you say the right Bond because Bond has had to change. Bond now exists in hashtag me too. How does Bond sit there? Well, Bond has evolved, you know. I mean, mm. these books were written in the 50s. The film started almost 60 years ago. Mm. So, I mean, the world has changed. I'll have two stacks now. Bond has always lived on the edge. Hi, I'm Plenty. But of course you are. But decades on... Who is that? Some lines, well, they're ageing better than others. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. What come out here? Shaken, not stirred. Now there are calls for a complete makeover... The same. ...of the Bond character. What about the obvious question? Female Bond? I, I don't believe that the James Bond character should be played by a woman. Mm. I believe that we should create roles for women and create female characters, not just cast mm. women in men's roles. I think women are far more interesting than that. <laughs> so my particular viewpoint is that James Bond is a male character. While Broccoli seems to have made... I'd love to see the right person for the role yeah. be the next James Bond, if I'm honest, if it is going to be a man again. For the <laughs> Maybe I am. You'll see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In this film, at least, fans can expect most things to stay the same. There's something I need to tell you. Love interest Madeline Swan is back again played by Leia Sadu. It's getting very hot in here. <laughs> hey, you're blushing. <laughs> yeah, you're blushing. Can you add get that? get some water. Right? <laughs> okay. Everything's no. all right. Can add nerves. You were double O. Two years. But there is one surprising new character. You get in my way. Know me. put a bullet in your knee. Played by Lashana Lynch. She's a 007 too. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. With this movie, you see quite a few examples of women just being authentically themselves, being strong in many facets, so not just being strong and sexy, but strong and powerful in their minds, intellectually sexy, and I think that is where cinema should be going right now, and that's where the franchise is going. While there may be some mysteries left to discover in the world of Bond, there are classic scenes that fans will continue to demand. Not least, a showdown between James Bond and his arch nemesis. So here I am. Oscar award winner Rami Malek. God. Transformed from a singing Freddie Mercury to supervillain Safin. You know that history isn't kind to those who play God. And you don't? And felt all the pressure. We both eradicate people to make the world a better place. It's a heavy task to follow in the footsteps of such iconic villains, such tremendous actors. I mean, some of the best actors uh, that we've seen uh, in cinema uh, uh, had this task before me. Almost a year ago, we started talking about this character, um, researching uh, what his voice might sound like, how his physicality would uh, manifest itself in the film. Can you slip into the voice? I don't think I can. No, I don't. I haven't given it a shot, but I don't think I'm going to do it yet. I do think you hear some of it in the trailer. We can't do that? No. <sighs> Clearly, there will be no spoilers today. Malik isn't allowed to reveal almost anything about his role. Actually, he's so tightly contracted, he can't reveal anything about, well, anything. I read somewhere that, that your favourite Bond was Sean Connery. You said that at some point. No, it's Daniel. Well clarified. Mm. <laughs> he's got all the things. I mean, he's he's uh, the confidence, the swagger, the charm. 
you know, the heroism and the flaws. He's my kind of guy. Is he? Yeah. At two hours and 45 minutes, the longest ever Bond film. Name? No Bond. Time to Die is an epic farewell to Daniel Craig. James Bond. This is going to sound like an odd question, but have you had a mental funeral for the character yet? No, no, I haven't, and I don't, I won't have to, because what I've been allowed to do is do these films and tell a story, mm. and the story's now over, and I'm like, that's great. He was there before me, yeah. and he's going to be there after me. James? It's going to be a tough act to follow whoever ends up getting the role. Well, you live long enough. Barbara Broccoli is almost certain I won't be the next face, but who really cares about Hollywood heavyweights? My, what a lovely party. <laughs> Unless, of course, they think you are perfect for the role. Now you have to find the next James Bond. No, we don't. <laughs> Barbara's we in don't. denial. I remember? know you're going to offer yourself up. There's a, a few rough corners we've got to take off. That accent has to go. And we've got to get you a, a British tailor, I think. So, a British you know, tailor? All these things. So, well, you didn't but say we can take off these rough corners. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say anything about getting into shape. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look in good shape. We'll, we'll start with that. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.